Good morning everybody and welcome. I am Mel Soul, Director of Instruction and Master Professional at the Mel Soul Golf School. We are located in three locations. We have this one here which is at Paulie's Plantation Golf and Country Club, Paulie's Island, South Carolina. We have in North Carolina, we have um, Sea Trail Resorts in Ocean Isle and then we have Holiday Valley Resort in Ellicottville in upstate New York. Ellicottville is about an hour south of Buffalo. So I usually, when I go there, last week in June, first week in July, I fly into Buffalo, rent a car, and it takes me almost on the dot one hour to get to Holiday Valley Resort. Nice, easy drive, highway all the way. So today I wanna to talk about emotions and I recently played with a player that got very upset on the golf course and I've played with players over the years that throw clubs and and I'm ashamed to say in my early years I was guilty of getting mad and throwing clubs and and one day an old golf pro and it's my South African golf pro friends will recognize the name Jimmy Skiapus. And Jimmy Skiapus, I played with him in a tournament at Mowbray and somewhere during the round I threw a club, or I got mad or I slammed my club into the ground. And when we were in the locker room after the round, Jimmy came and sat down with me and he said, Mel, golf is a hard game. He said, and I understand your frustration. I understand why. He said, you practice very, very hard. And most probably the shot that you hit badly was a shot that you practiced a lot and was expecting to hit that shot well. You didn't hit the shot well, so you think it reflects on you and you get mad. He said, the other players in the group don't care whether you hit a good shot or a bad shot. So, but they admire someone who hits a bad shot and doesn't react to it. And not only that, but your demeanor when you approach the next shot after it. Gary Play always to say, never follow a bad shot with another bad shot. So if you get angry, when you get to the next shot, you're still angry and you're like, oh, I'm gonna. So Gary Play used to say, when he hit a bad shot, he would walk slower to his next shot to give himself time to analyze the shot and analyze the next shot that's coming up to make sure that it's going to be a good shot to get him out of whatever the bad shot put him into. So I want you to be, for those of you, there's a lot of you that don't have this problem. In fact, there's more people that don't than do. And this goes to more for the younger players because when I was younger is when I got angry and I noticed when I go and watch junior tournaments, uh, if I'm working with juniors and I go to a tournament to watch, there are other juniors that have this major attitude problem. And I think it comes from the parents. The parents think their child is, you know, Swiss cheese. And so they don't discipline the child when the child gets angry and throws clubs. It's, oh, it's okay, Johnny. And if anybody picks the child out, boy, look out. The parents will respond accordingly. So don't get involved with other parents, but if you can get a junior on their own, in fact, I have a couple of times invited a junior to go out and play with me on the course. And when I can get them alone on the course, I'll start talking to them about managing your emotions on the course. When you hit a bad shot, stop, take a breath. Now you'll see the top players in the world, when they hit a bad shot, they'll immediately, you know, do a, a practice swing. They'll go, okay, I, I know what I did. I've got to make sure in my next swing that I don't do that, that I, I get through correctly. So, for what it's worth, there's a way of handling your emotions, understanding that golf is a difficult game and that you're going to hit a shot, a bad shot, when you least expect it. If you have the emotional intelligence to handle it, 
you're going to be a better golfer. Thanks for watching.